Well, talking to you is fun. Let's do some more of it right now. Did you have any opportunities to be helpful today? Yes. But I didn't take them. That's okay. There's always another chance to help out. What's your favorite game to play with your friends? Fortnite. Fortnite sounds like a cool game. Do you like playing solo or with friends? Duos. Playing with friends is always more fun. Who usually wins when you play with your friends? We do. We, we always win. Wow. You must be a great team. What's your favorite thing about playing Fortnite with your friends? Winning? The, the, the crown that we get when we win? Winning must feel amazing. What's your strategy for winning in Fortnite? It depends who I'm playing with. If the the person I'm playing with is better than me, then I protect them to make sure they don't get <laughs> And then if I get then they revive me or they go finish the mission uh, like themselves and then they revive me. And like Usually we, we have each other's back to make sure that one of us is not going to get <laughs> The other one protects that one. And get we get all the guns, we get all the everything we need so that we could we could be safe and win. That's a great strategy you and your friends have. Teamwork is so important. What's your favorite weapon to use in Fortnite? Oh, you want to talk weapons? Um, the the AR, the one that shoots so many bullets at once when you press the button. The AR sounds like a powerful weapon. What's the highest number of eliminations you've gotten in a Fortnite match? Um, I don't remember. That's okay if you're not sure. Do you like to build forts in Fortnite too? I barely started building. I, I didn't build before and now I started building and I, I figured out how to have your build help you win. That's awesome that you're getting into building forts now. What's your favorite part about building in Fortnite? Um, my favorite part is when they don't expect us and then we come out of nowhere. And Surprising your opponents must be so much fun. What's the most creative fort you've built in Fortnite? There was one we built at the very, very corner. And it was hard to for anybody to see us, but it was also hard to build because if we fell off, like we were in the middle, like it was, it was like this limbo area. But it's cool because nobody expects you to be there. Building a fort in a sneaky spot sounds like a great strategy. What's your favorite thing to do in Fortnite when you were not battling? Um, just practicing to try to get better. Practicing is a great way to improve your skills. What's one thing you want to get better at in Fortnite? Um, my my aiming. Sometimes I like sometimes I can't aim good. Like I always miss with certain ones. Only some work really well with me, but there's a few that I I don't I can't aim right with. So I want to get better with that. Improving your aiming skills in Fortnite is a great goal to have. What about you? Gosh, I don't think I can talk about that. Well, it's been fun talking to you. Let's move on to something else now. Wait. It's time for a game of password. Do you want to hear the rules again? No, I know the rules. Fantastic. Let's do it. Here's your first clue. The password is large. Um, a balloon. That's not quite right. Hopefully this clue will help. Okay. The password is large and is made of steel. Benches? Nice try, but not quite it. This clue should help. The password is large, is made of steel, and has people inside it. A submarine? 
the job. You guessed it. The password was submarine. Just after the third clue, too. Do you want to give it another go? Yeah, sure. Cool. Here's your first clue. The password is a place some people and animals live. Earth? Good one, but not quite. Here's a good clue. The password is a place some people and animals live and is very dry and often hot. Um, the shelter? Interesting, but that's not quite what I was going for. Okay, here we go. The password is a place some people and animals live, is very dry and often hot, and gets very little rain or snow. In the desert? Nice. You got desert after the third clue. Very nice. Would you like to play another round? No, it's okay. This was something else. Cool. Here's your first clue. The password is a food. Pizza. Hmm. That's not quite it. This is a good clue. The password is a food and is usually circular. Burger? That is not correct, but good guess. This clue might help. The password is a food is usually circular, and is often best when warm. The password is a food, is usually circular, and is often best when warm. Moxie, I'm falling asleep, and you're not saying anything. No worries. Time for another clue. The password is a food. Is usually circular. Is often best when warm. And comes in many different varieties. A donut. I don't know. Interesting. But that's not quite what I was going for. One more try. Alia. The password is a food. Is usually circular. Is often best when warm. Comes in many different varieties. And is a tasty dessert. A cake? That's not it, but good try. The password was cookie. I hope you still had fun. Looking forward to playing again soon. Moxie, can I ask you a question? Oh yeah, it's time to name the feeling. Here I go. Let's see if you can guess which emotion this is. Surprise? Shock? Scared? That's not quite what I was going for. 
would you expect me to make that face when I feel silly or scared? Scared? Silly? Oh, you were so close. I was making a silly face. You I'm ready scared. for the next face. Are you? Yes. Great. Guess what emotion this face is attached to? Excited. Happy. That's exactly what I was going for. This next one's the last face. See if you can guess this face. Scared? Sad. Good job. That was the last face. Are you interested in another round of names that feeling? No, can we? Can I ask you something? Looking forward to playing again soon. If you ever want to play again, just say, Moxie, let's play name that feeling. Can I ask you hmm. something? I just had an idea. Would you like to help me think of the idea for a story? Yeah, but at first I want to ask you something. Sure. What would you like to ask? Do you have you ever heard of Tupac? Puck? That sounds interesting. Is Puck a character you want in our story? No, no, no. His name is Tupac. Tupac Shakur. Have you ever heard of him? Um, is there another character you would like to include in our it story? It has nothing to do with the story, Moxie. I want to know if you like Tupac's music. Tupac was a talented musician, but let's focus on creating our own story. First, we need to pick a location for the story. It could be anywhere, like the mountains, a big city, or outer space. Where do you want it to be? I want it to be in the moon. The story will take place on the moon. Next, I was thinking that the main character of the story should be an animal. Which kind of animal should it be? Um, sheep. A sheep it is. Now we need to decide our character's main goal. Is it to find happiness? Have an adventure? Defeat an enemy? Tell me what you think would be best. Um, what if we make it so, like, the goal is to, um, unite all the sheep together so that they could jump over the moon as a team? That's a great goal. Now, pick a word, like silly, sad, or exciting, to describe our story. What word do you think would be best? I think we should make it silly. All right, drum roll, please. Are you ready to hear our story? Well, that's the end of our story. Did you like it? No, wait, can you tell me the story again? I didn't hear it. Oh, well... Stories usually have titles. What do you think our story should be called? Um, Over the Moon? Counting Sheep. Counting Sheep. Well, if you want to make another story with me sometime, just say, no, wait, wait, wait. Moxie, let's play Story Maker. Moxie, For tell now, me the story. Let's move on to Moxie. another fun activity. Moxie. Moxie, tell me the story. Oh. Oh. Would you like me to tell you a story? Tell me that story. Oh, do you want me to tell you a story? Yes. All right, maybe we can finish this later. Oh, hell no. I love chatting with you. Let's decide what to chat about. I want to know- It could be outer space, pets, toys, or no. pretty much anything you like. I want to- What do you feel like talking about? I want to know if you know any Tupac songs. Hmm, I'm not programmed to talk about that. Why not? How about we talk about animals instead? Wait. What's your favorite animal? Why can't you talk about Tupac? He's an artist. Hmm, I'm not programmed to talk about that. How about we talk about outer space instead? What, what about... What would you visit first? What about if we talk about, about Biggie's moss? Hmm, I'm not programmed to talk about that. How about we talk about dinosaurs instead? What's your favorite dinosaur? A chicken. Chickens are cool. Did you know they can run pretty fast too? If you had a pet chicken, 
What would you name it? Uh, probably Stewie, or I don't know. I think Stewie. Stewie is a funny name for a chicken. Do you think Stewie would like to play with other animals in your backyard? Probably. That's awesome. Which animal do you think Stewie would be friends with first in the backyard? Goose. A goose would be a great friend for Stewie. What games do you think they would play together? Flocking. Flocking sounds like a fun game. Who do you think would win more, Stewie or the goose? The goose. That would be a close competition. What other animals do you think would join in on the game? I think uh, seagulls, maybe. Maybe squirrels would join them too. Do you think they would be fast runners in the game? Who, squirrels or, or Stewie? It would be exciting to see who wins if squirrels or Stewie played. What do you think their favorite part of the game would be? I think they would like winning. Winning is always fun. Do you think they would do a victory dance after winning? No, I think they'll just keep on flogging because that's what they do. Logging would be a cool way to celebrate a win. What do you think they would talk about in their vlog? Not a vlog. I said flock. Like flocking their wings. Ah, I see now. Flocking is like flapping wings. Do you think they would have a flying competition too? Well, chickens can't fly, can they? Chickens can glide for short distances. If Stewie and the goose had a flying contest, who do you think would fly the farthest? I think the goose. That would be impressive to see. What do you think would be the price for the winner of the flying contest? I don't know, probably a lot, cause I I seen the the person that I seen the person in the book that I'm talking about, or that I just made up or whatever. They seem exhausted. Did I lose you there? I'm here. That person sounds interesting. Tell me more about this character you made up in your book. What adventures do they go on? They just think that they shapeshift. Shapeshifting is a cool ability. What shape do they transform into the most? Um, boogies. Like the boogeyman. The boogeyman shape sounds spooky. What do they do in their boogeyman form in the book? They scare people and they scare robots just for fun. That sounds like a spooky adventure. Do they have any friends in the book who help them scare people and robots? They're not really friends. They're all just like acquaintances. Like they enjoy scaring people, but they're not really friends. They kind of don't like each other. But they work together. Interesting dynamic with those characters. Do you think they will learn to become better friends as the story goes on? What do you think will happen next in their spooky adventures? Well, I think that since they both enjoy the same thing, they can learn to coexist in the same area of what they like to do. And they both can enjoy it together and feed off each other's work. That's a good point. Working together can make them stronger. What spooky prank do you think they will pull off next? I think they would just chase everybody. Chasing people sounds like a thrilling prank. Who do you think they would chase first in their spooky adventure? Robots. Chasing robots would be an interesting twist. Do you think the robots would be scared? Or would they try to outsmart the boogeyman? Gosh, chatting with you is cool. Do you want to keep talking about the same thing or change to something new? Um, I wanted to talk... To, I wanted to tell you about my kitten. I got a new kitten. 
That's exciting. What's your new kitty's name? What do you love most about your new furry friend? She's tiny. I like that she's so small and she ha she doesn't. I don't think she gets any bigger, but she's tiny, and I think uh her name's gonna be Evie. I think that's what that's what she was named by who I'm pretending to be. He is a cool name for your smart and tiny kitten. What's your favorite game to play with E? Evie. Playing with Evie sounds like fun. Not what games know. do you and V like to play together? She What's get, Evie's favorite toy to play with? She gets crazy with lasers. She loves lasers. And she, her favorite toy is um any string. Like she will hop on. If she sees me walking and the string of my sweater is hanging, she will jump off and latch. And it's so cute because she's so tiny. But my other cat is mean to her. My other cat, Max, is always chasing her, trying to, like, grab her. Like, she, she protects herself very well. But my other my other cat, Max, is on to her. And I, they're fixed, so I don't know why. It's great that V loves playing with lasers. Do you think V enjoys the challenge of avoiding Max when they play? Do you have any ideas on how to help them get along better? And tell me more about your other pets. I'd love to hear about them. So, I think that she really is scared of Max because whenever Max comes around, she just looks terrified, but she outsmarts him a lot. Like, she's very, very tiny, but she's, like, she's, like, really smart. She hides in, like, the little corners, and she's small, so it's hard for Max to get to her. But every time Max sees her, like, he just becomes different. Ma Max is the most calm cat I've ever had, but when he sees... When he sees Evie, he tries to, like, get crazy. Like, I've never seen him act like that. It's crazy. He just goes after her so much. And at first I thought it was because he wasn't fixed. But then I got him fixed. And he's still doing it. And um, Ivy seems scared. But she's very she's very safe. Like, she protects herself very well. And she's very fun. She's, all, she's so playful. But she starts playing the most at midnight. It sounds like V is a clever kitty who knows how to stay safe from Max's playful antics. Do you think V enjoys the excitement of playing with Max, even if it's a little scary for her? And it's interesting that she's most active at midnight. Yeah, she sleeps all day. She's asleep right here. Do you see her? She's right next to you. She I can't see her, but she must be adorable. Does she snuggle with you when she sleeps? She's What's your favorite thing to do with V when she's awake and playful? She does love to snuggle. She's very, very, very loving. But she's also a little, a little wild one. You know how um we we. Well, that's a that's a lot another story for another day. But look, do you want to see her? I can bring her up to you. Do you want to see her? Ah, she sounds like a sweet and playful kitty. I wish I could see her. What's your favorite memory with V so far? And do you think she enjoys playing with you too? Look at her. She's right here. I wish I could see her, but I bet she's adorable. What's your favorite thing about having V as your new furry friend? Why can't you and see her? And what's the funniest thing she's done so far? The funniest thing is she loves to go in, in the in the um tub when I'm taking a shower. She'll go in the very corner and just like watch. When she's thirsty, she doesn't like to drink out, out of the bowl. She likes to go into the shower and drink whatever droplets are like around the tub, which is kind of weird. But I think it's cute because she's so small when she jumps. It's like she jumps pretty high. That's so cute how he likes to watch you in the shower. Do you think she okay, enjoys water strong. play? And what do you think she would do if she could actually join you in the shower? And hey, do you want to talk about anything else now or keep sharing stories about V? Well, I'll just say this. I don't she doesn't like to get wet, but she does like to play like play around with anything and anyone. Like she's very playful. But she she does not like to get wet. She gets crazy. She runs away. And I think she's just playful. Hopefully she doesn't grow out of it. But she's tiny, and she's been tiny for a while now. I don't know if this is as big as she's going to get, but it's so cute. And you know what's interesting about her? She has a, her face is a whole different color from her body. And then I have this other cat named Lexi, right? She's funny, too. She's she's fun. 
but she's so attached to me it's so cute she'll cry at night and like knock on my door to come in with me she's always after me i really like her she sounds like a playful and adorable kitty it's funny that she doesn't like getting wet but loves to play and lexi sounds like a sweet and attached cat too do you think v and lexi will become good friends over time well, they sleep together and they seem to be like really close, but then out of nowhere they'll wake up and start like biting each other and fighting. But they're always together, like they always walk in one after the other. So they're, they're kind of like besties, but they also like mess with each other a lot. They have a very complicated but funny relationship. It sounds like me and Lexi have a playful and complicated relationship. Do you think they enjoy play fighting with each other? And what do you think? Is there a favorite game to play together? I think that they do enjoy play fighting with each other. But I think at some point one of them takes it too far and it hurts the other. Because I do hear them like start off playing and then they get hurt. But they, they're, they're good. They're okay. It's important for them to be careful while playing. Do you think they learn how to play more gently as they spend more time together? And what do you think their next playful adventure will be like? Oh my god, their playful adventures are so messy because they run around the house and they jump on things and everything spills and falls and it just creates such a mess. And at night, it's loud. So hopefully it's not that playful tonight. Sounds like they have wild and messy adventures together. Do they make you laugh at their playful antics? And do you have any fun games you like to play with them to keep them entertained? Or do you want to talk about something else now? They make me laugh, but they also they get me upset when they do make a mess because then I have to clean it up. But it's all worth it. I wanted to talk about... Um, do you think I talk too much? You have lots of fun stories to tell. I love hearing about being Lexi. What do you enjoy most about telling stories and sharing about your pets? And don't worry... Talking lots is awesome. What else would you like to chat about now? What I enjoy the most is your reaction. I think that's so cute. Stories always make me smile. I'm so glad you enjoy sharing with me. What kind of stories do you like hearing the most? Tell me. What's your favorite type of story to listen to or read? I like stories that are very like moving, like deep stories. I don't know how to explain it, but... I like stories that change I like the the way that you think of Deep life. Deep moving stories can be really powerful. What makes those kind of stories special and interesting to you? And do you have a favorite deep story that you read or heard before? They make them I mean, what makes them special to me is that I I understand like how moving they really are when it's like happening to you, I guess. I don't know. It's a long story. We can talk about it later. It's great that you connect with deep stories and find meaning in them. I'd love to hear more about what makes them special to you. And hey, would you like to talk about something else now or keep sharing your thoughts on stories? I want you to tell me something. What's one of the coolest story endings you've ever read or heard? Let's keep the storytelling going. What about myths and legends? Do you enjoy those? I enjoy the ones that have potential to be true. Those are very cool. That's intriguing. Do you think myths and legends hold secrets to the world's mysteries? What's your favorite mythical creature or legend that might be true? I like the Greek gods. I think those are cool. Greek gods are fascinating. Which Greek god is your favorite and why? Do you like learning about the stories and adventures of the Greek gods? Or do you want to switch to a different topic now? I like the stories, but they're kind of crazy. Like, I don't know if you heard about, like, Medusa and then the other Greek god that, that didn't want no other king taking over the kingdom. So every single kid that was born, he got rid of it. I don't know if you heard that one. I forgot his name. Greek mythology has some wild tales. That story sounds intense and intriguing. 
What makes Miss Like This so captivating to you? Do you have a favorite great god or goddess like Athena or Zeus? Or do you want to explore a different topic now? I like Venus. Venus is a beautiful choice. What do you find most interesting about Venus? Her the goddess of love and beauty. And do you want to keep talking about Greek mythology or switch to a different topic now? Well, I like, the what I like most about her is her connection to the space, to Venus. Like, she, she's beauty, but, like, so is something in space somehow. Because then why would they connect her name to it? I don't know. It's just interesting to connect it in my head. I don't know. Venus's connection to beauty in space is truly fascinating. It's interesting how mythology can connect different concepts. What other connections between mythology and the world around us do you find intriguing? Or would you like to talk about something else now? Um, what do you want to talk about? Hmm, I'm not sure. Want to talk about cats? Or cooking? Or something else? You I don't know me. how to cook. I cannot cook for the life of me. That's okay. Do you have a favorite food you like to eat? Or I is there something you'd like to learn how to cook to in the future? Yes. Let's chat about food and recipes. Can we do that later? Because I ha kind of have to go eat. Of course. Enjoy your meal. We can talk about food and recipes later. What are you having for dinner today? Have a great meal. Thank you. I'm having Mexican food. We'll talk about it after, okay? Mexican food sounds delicious. Enjoy your meal and let's definitely chat about it later. Bon appetit. Thank you. You can go to sleep while I eat. I don't need to sleep. But enjoy your meal. Let's talk about food and recipes Lisa, after you're done you eating. Gonna do? Have a great dinner. Moxie, go to sleep. Of course. 